Lee Jun Gi is a greatly popular personality of the Korean popular culture. He isn't just regarded in South Korea, but is appreciated across the entire globe for his extraordinary skills and abilities. He has got fire for hearts, and his great talent in performing in front of the camera has made people spellbound. He's known for his work in The King and the Clown, Moon Lover's Scarlet Heart Row, and Flower of Evil. He is also well known for being able to portray a difficult role perfectly, and his dedication toward acting has brought him many awards too. Here are 10 facts you might not know about Lee Jun Gi. He is proficient in different forms of martial arts. Lee Jun Gi was born on April 17, 1982, in Busan, South Korea. He is well known for being talented in various martial arts. He has blue belts in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Besides being passionate about Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, he also has black belts in Taekwondo, Hapkido, and traditional Korean martial art Taekyong. For his previous dramas, he also learned Parker, Thai kickboxing, and Sistema, Russian martial art. He made his debut as a model. Before hitting it big and becoming an international heartthrob, Lee Jun Gi was a simple South Korean boy trying to make it in the modeling world. In 2001, he made his debut as a model for fashion brand So Basic. The advertisement was displayed on a huge billboard in Myeongdong, and he would go there every week to see it. He beat 3,000 people for his role in The King and the Clown. The actor rose to fame after starring as a clown in the critically acclaimed period film The King and the Clown in 2005. While talking about his breakout role on South Korean variety show Knowing Bros, he revealed that 3,000 people had auditioned for the role of Gong Gil. He knew he had to make himself stand out, so he did a handstand, then split his legs. The move not just made a deep impression, it even made it into a scene in the movie. He originally had no intention of accepting Flower of Evil. Lee Jun Gi starred as a man who hides his identity and passed from his detective wife in the 2020 drama Flower of Evil. He had received critical acclaim for delivering a hair-raising performance with his dual role. But who would have thought that he didn't want to star in the drama in the first place? He shared to Allure, when I first received the offer for Flower of Evil, I wasn't going to do it. I thought it was too difficult. I thought that I wouldn't be able to convey the depth of the character. I also don't have experience with a family of my own. Then he was convinced by the director by saying that, although the drama was definitely unique and difficult, it would be special, and they had been able to leave each other with something. He was also able to become more confident once Moon Che Won told him that he had been able to make his character completely charming. After successfully playing the role, Lee Jun Gi received Asia Celebrity and Best Artist Award at the 5th Asia Artist Awards in 2020. He performed on stage despite getting 50 stitches on his forehead. During the final rehearsal for the Army musical Voyage of Life, the actor hit his head on a steel structure and had to be rushed to the hospital hours before the show started. Although it was a serious injury that required 50 stitches, he didn't want to disappoint his fans who had bought tickets. He pressed on and performed during the opening night with bandages on his head. After returning to the hospital after the show, he only rested for one day before returning to the stage. He tries to avoid using stunt doubles. Action dramas are known for placing their heroes in nail-biting life or death situations where there's danger at every turn. Sometimes the sequences are so risky, the help of a stunt double will be enlisted so the actor stays safe. But for some, that's not good enough. Some actors aren't afraid to go the extra mile for an action sequence. Lee Jun Gi talked about how he tries to avoid using stunt doubles in his interview with Arena Home Plus. Performing action scenes is also acting. If you do the action scenes yourself, then the camera can get close, so you can convey the reason why this person is fighting. There's no need to do a wide shot or show the actor from the back. He once reassured fans that they needn't worry because he used his rest time from projects to continue practicing martial arts. He also said to the big issue, I want to keep doing action scenes myself for a long time, as long as my body allows. He got cast in a Hollywood movie thanks to a YouTube video. Some actors dream of getting into Hollywood. In 2016, Lee Jun Gi appeared in Resident Evil The Final Chapter as the villain Commander E. Director Paul W.S. Anderson was reportedly so taken with Lee Jun Gi's stunt skills and charismatic gaze, after watching a fan-made YouTube video of him in various action scenes, that he reached out to his agency to offer him a role without an audition. He also won praise from leading Lady Mila Jovovich who was impressed that he did all of his own stunts without using any wires and called him a scene stealer. 
he wants to play more realistic roles. Throughout his selection of roles, he used to want to always surprise viewers, even if it meant backbreaking work. He thinks that as he gains experience and gets older, he has more aspirations for things that are a bit more natural. He told the Big Issue Korea magazine, I want to portray ordinary characters just as they are, in a way that they seem like someone we might see in our daily lives, and I want to convey those emotions and that sincerity to the viewers. That's something I've thought since I just started out as an actor, but lately, I feel that way even more. He was a marksman in his army days. On May 3, 2010, he enlisted in the Republic of Korea Army to serve his mandatory military service. He first underwent five weeks of basic training at Nonsan Military Training Camp and was later drafted into active duty. His KFN documentary revealed that he was a captain and promotion team squad's designated marksman while serving his mandatory military service. After serving 21 months of active duty, he was discharged on February 16, 2012, from the Defense Media Agency at Yongsun Dong, Yongsun Gu, Seoul. He's been thinking about marriage. Unlike Hollywood celebrity relationships that are out in the open, Korean celebrity dating is a bit of a hush-hush affair. With little concrete news coming out in social media and the press, it's mostly about conjecture and gossip. After playing the role of a husband and father in Flower of Evil, Lee Jun gi was asked about himself that there's still no marriage news. He replied, I have nothing to say to that, it's not that I don't want to get married. People ask me about marriage a lot too, and I think about it myself a lot as well, but, I do think that it's possible now that I might not be able to get married, but if I meet someone that I'm meant to be with, then I do want to. I've been thinking about that more lately, maybe because the project that I filmed recently is one that made me feel the warmth of a family.